so it looks like fresh and fit is finished i don't know why i wonder what happened actually fresh and fit trying to get us out of here my boys this is also a warning to other channels out there as well. Now they're happened? mad that they're getting, there's consequences of actions, bro. And it's crazy that they're literally, they're just plotting on desperate men, bro. And it's Stop, sitting. Walter, shut the f up. You don't live the life. Nigga, everybody keeps exposing you, nigga. You do not live the life, nigga. Yo, fresh man, and fit. The news, man. Fresh and fit. Seem like they're over with. YouTube finally stepped in, demonetized the entire channel, so that means that they cannot make any more money on their videos or even receive um, stream donations. Can't even oh, receive uh, donations either, man. Yeah. So they're now taking their their show to so kick. They're gonna take it on Rumble full time. Oh, Rumble. And um, looks like it is over for Fresh and Fit. They're not really oh, over man. then. What a journey this was, man. And I, at least on why, YouTube. Why are you saying no, that? I'm just saying it was it was such a a hard fought battle they really was trying to save us and who's gonna look after men on youtube now that they're not here man bruh <laughs> oh man y'all niggas oh. are sick bro you know the, this gonna be a fucking huge surplus of betas yeah what that's them be... on youtube nigga like i don't know what they're gonna do bro <laughs> oh man it's, oh man okay look <laughs> first of all First of all, I think they also had a Patreon, so it's probably not the end of the world for yeah. them. But it is the end of the world at the same time because they're probably losing a majority of the revenue. They're definitely losing a majority. Yeah, of the revenue. losing a majority of your revenue is not a big deal if you work by yourself. But when you got a whole team of people, yeah. and yeah. that team is relying on income as so they could fucking survive. If you got producers and you got people who get is that Rumble like completely that live? Paid. And so when they stop getting paid, you start losing those people, and now things begin to get harder. Things begin to get slower, and you have to start doing a little bit more of that work yourself, yeah. which shouldn't be a problem because they're trying to guide these young men. So Facts, it should be man. worth it. Should it should be their passion project. It should, be, it should, it should It's all worth it at the end of it, man. <laughs> yeah, it has to be because yeah, it's like man. It's, it's, they're really passionate about it. Very passionate about it. Like, what ways would you say they guided men the best? One away from these whores. <laughs> Got to, that. I mean, these three o fours. Baby mama drama, the Shaniquas, you know, they definitely... And just because your your reality is ours doesn't mean that we're wrong. Like, we live this lifestyle. This is who we are. No, you yeah. don't, so, nigga! Hey. Stop, Walter! Shut the f*** up! You don't live the Flashbacks. life! Flashbacks. Nigga, everybody keeps exposing you, nigga. You do not live the life, nigga! That's literally... That's all we was trying to say this whole time. <laughs> that's the entire you time. you don't do that. You don't live the life. You socially awkward f***. You don't live this life, nigga. Shut up, bro. God damn, bro. You sound awkward as you say that. <laughs> what the fuck? We lived in life. Shut the f up, bro. Uh, you know, he's actually true just because your reality is not someone else's reality. It doesn't mean it's not true, but they don't understand how that also applies to them. Yeah, because it's also just their reality, not the actual truth. Because an NBA player didn't give you pussy, nigga. Shut the f up, nigga. <laughs> what is, I don't, I don't dabble in the brown, those black women. Mm -hmm. They definitely guided them away from that. Mm -hmm. In the episode, uh, one of your hard on thoughts episodes they had, you know, when they got all the women around them, uh, they decided to kick out Asian Doll because um, she was talking. That's why I said. I don't know who Asian Doll is. She's black? She is black. And that's why the blogs are trying to cancel her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. Uh, yeah, like, uh, uh, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't Knight Riders. Um, Knight Riders is crazy. Guiding them towards, you know, dodging accountability. Got they do they Got dodge accountability. I mean, mm -hmm. peak level dodging. Deflection like 101. That. Fresh and Fit trying to get us out of here, my boys. This is also a warning to other channels out there as well. <laughs> If um if y'all run into any complications, please be on the lookout because it seems like they are trying to silence a lot of people and, and make sure all your channels, I mean, excuse me, your videos are removed about them. But it is true. The three iconic videos that we had on the channel about Fresh and Fit exposing them, one almost hit a million. Mm. And as soon as you get caught in the lies, y'all then try to silence people all around because y'all know for a fact moving forward because people can't actually express themselves through the dislike button on youtube y'all can just get away with lying i still can't and believe youtube got rid of the dislike button mm -mm. is it just gonna be flashbacks because i remember watching every it's single like one one on one man and then we can't we can't forget about like the good credit videos how to build credit <laughs> <laughs> In all reality, I don't. I never. Woo! 
Like, I'm sure, like, them telling people about how to build credit and stuff like that, that's useful information. Oh, for sure. All as that, long as it's accurate, it's useful information. Like, really that's stuff everybody should and, know. And that's stuff that they were saving them in. I'm being dead ass. I'm being dead ass. I'm being dead ass, though, bro. Yeah, I'm being dead ass, okay. too. Who's okay. going to tell men how to build their credit now that they're not here, bro? Where are these women going to be able to? Oh yeah, they all. Oh, so people don't know as well. They're getting kicked out of the uh, their, apartment. Their, their, their part, no, 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 the apartment. The apartment he shoots. They get evicted. Yeah. Really? The guy was like, "No, we're not renewing the lease, bro." It's done. That's it's crazy. Done. It's done. It's done. Yeah. What, are, what are your actual thoughts on this, bro? I, I, and also for those who don't know, uh, apparently they didn't get any like formal information on why this happened. It just happened, and now they're trying to figure out what it, what it is. But I think they feel more. Uh, more confident they probably don't need to receive an answer more or less that's what a youtube thing is you know they're not very clear on the answers and so that's why they feel like it's necessary to go on to rumble i think what are um, your thoughts man i think we shouldn't be too quick to celebrate i think you really shouldn't even celebrate nobody downfall for sure yeah except the likes they learn them um but at the same time is youtube's partner program mm -hmm. people like them actually make the whole partner program harder to sell because yeah. YouTube doesn't want their ads, no advertiser wants their ads surfacing on their type of videos. Of course. In all reality, they're just not advertiser friendly and that sucks. And the reason why the system is so inconsistent for everyone else is because they're trying to weed out people like them. So in all reality, like if more people like them got packed, it would kind of make things easier for everybody else just trying to make videos. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like you can't trust YouTube to properly and equally enforce everything. So if they're going to start sniping niggas that they disagree with, then it's going to kind of just become a program where you have to agree with some thoughts or at least stay quiet about some thoughts. Otherwise you're being packed from it. Um, that being said, we're not sure why they got removed. And I think for insurance reasons, a lot of times when you get banned from a game or a service or something like that, they lots of the they don't tell you why because once they itemize why you can counter that yeah especially if you get a lawyer or somebody you can counter that and a lot of people have done that in the past and google gets sued to death all the time they're probably like in the middle of fucking in 50 000 lawsuits as we speak and this could be 50 000 one for all they know because like in all reality youtube does have a responsibility to make the partner program fair so if they could argue what they did wasn't fair then they could technically win the case but it's also youtube's a private company and the partner program is not like some, it's not a right. It's not like a human right, right? It's a privilege to be on there because they have a sales team that sells. And so you don't have to do nothing but post videos. You don't have to have a big sales team and you could still earn a living off of YouTube. I think when YouTube originally made the program, a lot of people thought it was crazy yeah. because people hated the idea of ads. But like as a content creator, it's so nice to know that you don't have to have a 50 deep sales team making millions of dollars a year to be able to survive on YouTube. You can just make good videos and then YouTube can serve the ads in their system. So if they're just trying to protect their system, they're trying to protect their system. That being said, when as it relates to them, they're gonna come up with this little sob story. I mean, well, run this they, they, the clip. They, yeah, they already we haven't even played the clip. Have you played it? It's killed. I shouldn't be admitting this, but saving children, right? That was great, but saving you guys is better. Mm -hmm. I seen this, bro. They they're like they can try and make us feel sorry for them being packed from the program. I can't. I can't feel sorry for. Oh, them. that's oh, so. That's where I was going. Yeah, I can't feel sorry for these niggas because they were unapologetic in their wrath whenever they felt like they could use their power to fuck other people over. And, and so now they're the ones being fucked over. It's like and as soon as you get caught in the lies, y'all then try to silence people all around because y'all know for a fact moving forward because people can't actually express themselves through the dislike button on youtube y'all can just get away with lying and scamming the people whenever y'all want to and it's crazy that they're literally they're just plotting on desperate men bro and it's sickening and every single time they get caught they backpedal over and over and over again just make new lies up this is a troll you gave her money in real life because of a troll behind the scenes okay nigga. well whatever you said you know like this man all to the um other content creators please don't try to be silenced by these two morons but be careful though because they are going out here trying to get rid of people entire channel that's why it's fuck fresh and fit bro i don't i personally speak i'm be honest with y'all don't give a fuck don't give a fuck don't care at all don't give a fuck it's actually pretty ironic 
that they end up losing their partnership because for those who don't know or for may have forgotten literally just a year ago yeah they, they went were around stacking using the same youtube system yeah. trying to get rid of other channels including ours and they were doing it in an unjust manner and come to find out as people gave them way more pushback to the point where they were looking at different attorneys and going more legal. They even had a whole cheap ass pair of legal replying to people and et cetera, et cetera. They were completely in the wrong and YouTube was on the brink of packing up their channel a year ago because they were wrongfully using the copyright claim or copyright strike system and claiming that, oh, all this stuff that people are using was not under fair use. So they were purposely trying to get rid of other people's channels a year ago. Respect freedom of speech. You should be this motivated to censor people, especially people that have the same job as you. You are a content creator. But we why know, are you so anxious to but censor? We know, we know, we know why. We know why. I'm just speaking. I don't know, but like, cause it's not, it's not a copyright issue. We all know it's not really a copyright issue. It's a censorship yeah, issue. And, and, and so and, y'all censoring us, y'all censoring other content creators. Y'all are censoring people in y'all own subreddit. And then y'all are also censoring people in y'all own chat. Y'all are just trying to remove any evidence. And y'all censoring yourself. Y'all actually removed videos that had video evidence of it. So y'all are literally trying to just get rid of everything that proves that you all are not who y'all say y'all are. So right now, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Suck dick. I don't care. I'm happy you're off the platform. You pussy ass bitch ass. They're not off the platform. They're not off the platform, but you can't earn money off the platform since that's something that you were trying to take away from us. Don't give a fuck. You loser ass bitch ass. Mm. So that's A. B, I don't give a fuck because over the past year in some change, the shit that y'all been doing has been against TOS anyway. Y'all y'all should have been packed up a while ago. Not only for the shit where y'all was sitting here misusing, again, the copyright system, but also, bro, like, recently y'all were sitting here making fun of Jewish people. Y'all y'all were, um... And, oh, that and monkey shit was crazy. Then, then I'm about to say, then y'all did the whole monkey shit, even though I know Myron was on Rumble with the um KKK thing on. Yeah, that was crazy. Y'all did that as well. That um, was crazy. God, God forbid all the other things that y'all do about women and stuff like that and misogyny, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, no. And on top of that, there's other things that's against TOS that y'all did that a lot of people didn't speak about, which is another thing I, I, I'm going to talk about as well because I know people are going to be like, oh, it's the Matrix and y'all just want to get rid of them. No. <laughs> there, there are several things that they were doing that many other content creators <laughs> didn't say a fucking thing about, such as when they got in hand the back and forth for I've been preach and they were doing the whole numbers talk. Oh, I remember this. Niggas, da, 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 da. And they lost a bunch of subscribers in the process <laughs> and then it became stagnant in their subscriber count. You know what these niggas did? These what the hell? I was like, where the music come from, bro? That, that was so weird. Oh. Bruh. Ain't no way. I didn't even know about this. That is funny. This is against TOS. Hey, the third party entity, if you hit subscribe, you follow us here, you da 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 da, then you enter yourself into the giveaway, which a lot of people knew about at the time and could have packed them up for that, but we decided not to. And what's crazy is, as they continued to climb, they bragged about subscribers' numbers that were inflated in a way that should not have been inflated. So, no, I don't give a fuck about these niggas at all, bro. They were doing shit, wild shit, for over the past year and a half. Really, they've been doing wild shit the entire time, but over the last year and a half, it was ridiculous. So, no, I don't give a fuck about these niggas don't give a fuck about they they losing a platform quite frankly they should have lost it or at least lost the ability to monetize on youtube quite frankly they should have lost that shit a while ago they should have been gone should have been gone off the fucking platform nigga <laughs> give a fuck about these niggas bro i'm not gonna lie it's actually kind of satisfying to see like a nigga with like a lot of ego be humble Karma? and the thing about having a lot of ego is you can't just take a loss because is niggas you know niggas gonna poke and make fun of you and you're sensitive nigga with an ego right Facts. so like they're gonna try and make they're gonna sell this little sob story about what they've been through and what they're trying to accomplish with their channel. In all reality, the execution of what you're trying to do, niggas don't hear about Fresh and Fit in all reality outside of their core audience unless y'all making monkey sounds or doing some other wild shit. Yeah. Like, nothing you say is, like, transformative enough to, like... And you can sit there and pretend like you're a net positive for the world, but, bro, look at your audience, bro. Your audience doesn't even believe in the things that y'all preach. 
But they will bring OnlyFans models on there, sit there, make fun of them the entire time. And then y'all fans will go and subscribe to those OnlyFans. They will make tens of thousands off your fans. Yep. So as much money as you make from your fans, they make money from your fans too, bro. Look, and you know the annoying part about this is the real net negative is that Fresh and Fit inspired like other podcasts to copy and paste their formula. Yeah. And so now it's not just them doing no more. There's a whole bunch of carbon copies doing the same thing, just trying to get the same attention that you got. And you could sit there and pretend like you have positive intentions but they don't and so you inspired the negativity then you don't even realize it you're the person that people are trying to well people see something that works on the internet and they're just gonna copy it simple as that and, and also let me the other aspect of it, because they were also part of the grift as well where it was like oh um because they they were still doing a whole bashing the women da -da, but then they started to pivot more into like the conspiracy theories and uh, they had nick fuentes on there etc mm -hmm. etc they were talking about that right there i don't i and and again it would be nice if youtube was just more transparent i think that's a problem that many people have including us however i if if i was doing the same type of content they were doing or if we were doing the same type of content they were doing and this happened to us i'd be like oh damn it took long enough for them to do that because i i would already know that we were already toting the line the entire time if not crossing it over crossing over the line several times so when they sit there and they act like they don't know like sure they may not know the the specific reason why but they've done several more than enough things for them to be packed up so it, it doesn't really matter whatsoever it's not the matrix it's not uh, other entities coming after you all. It's not that at all, bro. Because that's something they talked about here. Bro, right, they did, he like, and niggas always bring up the Matrix. In bro, 2023, bro, no. bro, you can't be responsible for shit because the not Matrix is always thing. responsible the, for and, it. Which is the irony because as as a self-help, men guru, or the fuck you want to call these niggas, accountability is at the top of the priority list. Things that men should be um, culpable for. But for whatever reason, every single time something happened with them, it's the Matrix, it's society, it's this feminist mindset that that and it's captivating everybody that's pushing us down. The Matrix is absolutely Yo, we've, attacking. We've lost friends, deals, sponsorships. Oh, yeah. We've lost like yeah, bro. Like if we were if we were legit only about the money, guys, we'd oh, be yeah. we'd, we'd be in Dubai chilling right now. Yeah, chilling. Bro, we've lost a lot of sponsorships, guys. but now they're mad that they're getting there's consequences of actions, bro. Y'all are not gonna be able to run around and drag our name in the mud with you know falsely without some kind of recourse bro like that's just not the way the world works and just, and just because your your reality is ours doesn't mean that we're wrong like we live this lifestyle this is who we are no you yeah. don't so, nigga. And stop walter shut the f up you don't live the life <laughs> nigga everybody keeps exposing you nigga you do not live the life nigga that's literally that's all we was trying to say this whole time, the entire you time. don't do that you don't live the life yo myron and walter man it's been it's been a great two years man Great two years, man. Just the blunders and, and fumbles that you all have had over the years, man. And throughout the throughout the time, y'all definitely made a lot of money um, off of desperate men. You know, that's what that's really what it was. One hundred percent. And so um, to that, that is probably the biggest reason why I despise you all. Because again, I don't think that the platform really provided enough value to these men instead of allowing them to escape from reality for a moment's time through your lives, berate and bash women. And as soon as a live went off, they went back to living their miserable lives. We know this because those same men will bash women and then go give them money on their OnlyFans. Let us know y'all best moments to the fresh and fit Aaron down below. And until next time, we'll see you all later, man. Peace. The truth That's is... That's funny. I guess karma. I didn't have no beef with them because I didn't watch them. Nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him powers. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, wow. Hey, yo, you heard him. Give me power. Like and subscribe. See you guys later. Hope you have a good day or night and bye.